So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 12th TypeScript tutorial in which I'm going to show you what interfaces are real quick and uh, why do we actually need them. Well, interfaces are very useful uh, not only in TypeScript but in many other languages including Java. So interfaces, what they essentially do is that they allow the developer or, you know, whoever is making a sort of framework or something to declare how a function should behave, right? So what should be its return type, what number of arguments it should get, its overloaded function, overloaded functions, and pretty much how you have to actually write the definition of that function. So it kind of gives the developer which would code later a blueprint about what you what she or he has to do with uh, the function right so that is basically the main use of interfaces but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a function first let's just say this is uh, area or uh, let's just say this is operate right and then right here I do like uh, operate and then I pass in an object literal and I can say that its shape is square and then its side is 5 right so right here I can again accept it as an X but I can say that it should be of the types shape as a string and side as a, a number right so you know so what we need to do now is that we can just return something like side times side uh, like that so actually not this x dot side times x dot side and what you can do instead is that you can create instead of this mess you can create an interface out of it and what this essentially would do is that you can just do like interface operate interface and then interface would allow you to define the type of stuff which you are looking for and it is essentially just like structures if you are coming from C or C++ then you have struct my struct then all that defining then you define your object or you know your structure object or whatever then you make use of like my struct dot something and then you just see in that or whatever so it's essentially the same not completely that and not completely different so now what you can do is that you can just define it as an operate interface as the input and it would work just fine right so what happens is that I don't want this side to be actually a very you know mandatory input because if I pass in shape as a circle it won't have any side it would have a radius instead so what I want to do instead is that I want to make the side an optional so we just do that simply by putting a question mark in front of whatever you want to make optional and uh, that is a very basic usage of interfaces well in interfaces what you can do instead is that you can define your function as well your functions definition not definition but actually just the headers and then you can define your functions right here but for that you need to set the return type of this as operate interface as well and that is pretty cool which we'll take a look at in the next tutorial but for this tutorial I'm just gonna keep it low so that you understand all of the stuff so you can see that if I build it, it builds successfully without any fuzz. And right now it doesn't so show pretty much a lot of code to us because we are just making use of very basic sort of interface. And by default, JavaScript doesn't work with interfaces. It doesn't have any support, but TypeScript do have, so we can just make use of that. So yeah, so that is all for this tutorial. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.